Hey everyone, this is Heidi Gusted with another crochet video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to work the vintage gel stitch. To work this stitch, we're going to cast on a multiple of three stitches. For demonstration's sake, I've got nine on my hook. So to start, we're going to work a double crochet stitch in the third chain from the hook. There we go with that, like so. And for the rest of the row, we're going to skip two chains and then in the third work, one single crochet and two double crochet stitches across. So we're skipping two and we're going to dive in and single crochet one. Before double crocheting two. And you'll notice there aren't any chain stitches in between the single or double crochets as I work here. So we're going to do that one more time. Skipping two and working in that last stitch, but since there's only three chains remaining, we're going to skip two and simply single crochet in the last to finish this foundation row. Single crochet and done. So now if we look at our work, we're seeing two little shell shapes and a little tail on the side. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two stitches and turn, still working in this first orange color. We won't change to the second color until the end of this row. So I've done chain two and turn. Now we're going to double crochet twice in the same stitch that we chained in. So there's one, and two. Next, and across your row when you're working on more stitches than I'm demonstrating with, you'll do the following. We're going to skip two, one, two, and work in this third chain, which also happens to be the bottom of this scallop being created by these shells of the stitch pattern. Then we're going to do a single crochet followed by two double crochets, just like before with no additional chains in between them. And we'll do that until just a few stitches remain. And then we will skip two and single crochet into the turn chain stitches, like so. But normally that's what a single crochet looks like. Looks like. However, instead of completing that stitch, we're going to yarn over and draw back through, but we're going to switch colors. You can switch colors whenever you want in this pattern, but if you want the even shell look of this swatch, you'll do it every other row. So we've got the one yarn over of our single crochet, and now we're going to join the second color to change colors and finish that. Now we're on row three, and we're going to chain two stitches and turn to begin. There's chain two, and turn. Now we're on this yellow second color. Now we're going to do two double crochets in the same stitch, not unlike the last row. One and two. And then we're going to skip two chains and then work one single crochet followed by two double crochet stitches. So one, two, and again we're working in the valley of these scallops. And there is one single crochet, followed by two doubles. Like so. And you'll work that um, single double double across your row until you get to the last three stitches. And then we'll skip two stitches and single crochet into the the chain and turn stitches like before. So now you'll keep working the last two rows, alternating colors where appropriate, and after you do that for a while, your finished swatch will look like this. Super cute and pretty easy to do once you get the hang of it. The vintage shell stitch is a great stitch to use for baby blankets and other afghans. If you have any questions for us, go ahead and leave a comment and tune in again soon for more crochet tutorials. Mm -hmm.